Marriage is a sacred institution. It's a tradition of partnership, of trust, and of dependence on one another to navigate the sometimes stormy sea of life. Love requires work through our messes. The love we need comes from being willing to make sacrifices. It comes from being committed to working through those situations together and maintaining open communication, especially when it's difficult. Love is action that builds others up. Through the combination of work, sacrifice, and commitment, we can build things like trust and intimacy and all the beautiful things that make marriage worthwhile. First 18, 19, 20 years when I shared a bread bedroom with her, I didn't know how fast time was passing. I didn't know that I will come to a time when I realized that I've only got like one year with her. And then when I met John, and the moment I met him, I was like, I trust this guy so much. Like, even if I get to see my sister for just one more year, I know that she's overseas with such a beautiful family, with such a beautiful guy who will do anything for her. And I've seen it not, not just through actions, but I see it in people's eyes. I see it in everybody's eyes here, all of you present over here in this, on this beautiful day. And I just feel very lucky that Anira got to be with such a beautiful man and with such a beautiful family. I have not ever seen him as happy as I have seen him with her. Clearly, he loves her very much and she loves him very much, and that's all I need. Last time I was speaking to you like this in front of friends and family was the day that I proposed to you. And I might have cried a little. From the day that I met you, I've loved your sense of humor, how caring you are towards ones around you, and how lighthearted you are. I couldn't say for sure, but I wouldn't ask for more. You. And here at Iqbal, I vow to always support you and love you. I promise to always fill up your water before bed and walk Napa when you're too tired from work. I am with you for better and through worse, in sickness and in health. I can't wait to marry you, to continue traveling with you, to start a family with you, to experience everything life has to offer with you. And here at Iqbal, like John, I will love you forever, as long as we both shall live. We're so happy that you're a part of our family in Ira, and happy to have another sister. Now, good job, brothers. <laughs> you may have grown up almost a half a world apart, but I'm so glad that Ohio, which is the heart of it all, could bring you together because you truly are a match made in heaven. As I got to know you more, John, I saw the kind, 
and simple side of you. I saw how much you loved your family and your close group of friends. When I met your family, I could feel how proud they were of who you have become. You make me laugh every single day since I've been with you, even during the low times or when it isn't appropriate. <laughs> Every single day I get to spend with you is a day I am grateful for. I promise to give you all my love every day for eternity. I promise to be honest, faithful, respectful, and kind. I promise to always be there to listen to you, to give you my attention, to laugh with, to complain to, to comfort, to pick you up, to trust, and to depend on. I promise to never let anything come between us and to always put you and our marriage first. John and Anira, having proclaimed your love and commitment to one another in the eyes of these loved ones and with the power vested in me, I am so happy to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.